Hey, area. We're talking about area. We said it's the um the space enclosed by a figure. We talked about that the other day. Area of a rectangle. Area of a rectangle is a length times a width. Where length is one of the sides, width is another side. Wait, what's the problem? Oh, Mr. Cossel, this is a great area. math class. That's seriously all the section is for us. It's area. Normally we spend more time on it, but we don't have much time left. So this is all we're doing. Last night, I may or may not have just copied what I taught last year. Call it good. Uh, to who? Yeah. Okay. What? Fifth graders. Four semester. To whom? I don't know. Just hey, okay. listen, I Bob. I taught, I taught, ge I taught geometry last year. Last year. Last year. I taught geometry last year. Okay. Wait, so what's the difference? Why was the office? The office didn't really clarify it, though. I just got even more confused since we started to argue. Whom is a made up word you never use? Yeah. I know what you're going to do. I'm not going to No, okay, so here's what it is. You use whom when it's the object of something. So if you're saying, um, if you're saying you taught it to someone, would you say you taught it to him or you taught it to he? Him. him. So if you're going to use him, you would use whom. So like if you're going to use uh, her, him, if you use him or her, you would use whom. If you use he or she, Kind of easier, easier way to think about it. You can, you can kind of try and replace it. So this is maybe a little bit of a different way. You know, like them or so I would say I would talk with them. Them, that's with that's themselves. So that would still be um uh, not that's me. That's um. That would be the object. The object. Um. So it would still be. So if he or she. Yeah. So if you use he, she, or they, you use who. If you use him, her, or them, you use who. That's accurate. Okay. Wait, hold on. Give us an update. Hey. How far? So, is this uh, is this a really like world breaking formula? Not really. No. You say the length times the width. Would it be okay if you took the width times the length? Yeah. yeah. It doesn't matter if you get mixed up. You multiply. It's the same thing. Okay. Who the heck says width times length? Uh, I mean, I mean, wait, 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 Voice stuff. Area for squares. It's sides of squares. Is, is, is a square a rectangle? Uh, yeah. Yes. So could you technically use the length times width for this? But it's the same thing. Because this is s and this is s. And you just take s times s, and you get s squared. <laughs> And give your teacher some side length. Yeah, S just says for side length. Good question. S means side length. Yep. He has a major senioritis. Even though he's a freshman, he tries that. I Because freshman is the I'm so ready. I'm sick of I'm so ready. 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 If you know the formula, you know a side, do you do any advanced math to figure this stuff out? No. Then you just plug it in and solve. Thank God, my brother. Area of a P gram, you're saying for parallelogram. Thank you, Mr. Rio. Area is equal to the base times the height. Base is just any side. 
height is the length perpendicular to the base. Because remember when we did like uh, the altitude of the triangle? It was always perpendicular. Okay? Use your discretion on what you write down. But you don't need to write down all of this and don't write down all of this. You write down all of this and write down all of this. So in a parallelogram, all four sides are not congruent necessarily. But we can actually use any of the four sides for our base because our height is relative to whatever our base is. Let's see another one. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. Oh. Oh. Wait, there was a 
problem. Fires have to do with anything. It's just there. Really well. It's a red herring.
Okay, we'll talk about why this is. So for a parallelogram, we said our area was what times what? A times height. Okay, how many triangles are there in a parallelogram? Two. So if we want half of this, we want one triangle, we're going to take this base times height, and we're going to take one half of that. That's why it is, the way it is. Oh my gosh, oh, oh my gosh, my voice is gone. Look at that. Oh. Question on that. Rain. Just rain. Find the area of the parallelogram RSTU. Oh my god, oh my god. You're killing that. I'll let you get out. That makes me want to What? It's your time. Why can't you, Sean? So we're just trying to find it. You were just learning about triangles. Now we're going back. This is not a triangle. What? Now there's a diamond in the middle. Yeah, the light down sort of goes flashing and flashing white so quickly. I can't change the signal. I don't know. I I don't understand.
to me and sorrow to others, thus bringing me more joy. So if I'm happy... Wow, you sound like a tyrant who likes to kill people. I was healthy as Lily in study hall in the choir room. You really want to shake my hand? I don't do it. It's gross. Yeah, I think it was... Oh, I thought... I thought it was written. I was helping Lily in study hall um, with her battle on Monday. We were in the choir, and she was like, Aubrey, what's the one? There's a heart in my heart. And I was like, I love Mark Martin Clark as a kid. Yes, Tyler. Math is for making a surly cow. Yes. So 25 is on one side of the parallel here, right? So if we call this our base instead of this, then what side is perpendicular to this? What length is perpendicular to that? This WT, which would be a side like that, would then be our height sign. Okay, point stop. Any other question on this? No. Okay. How many kids are at that? Yeah. 
base one, okay? So for we said the area of a parallelogram was base times height, correct? Like Haley. Go away. Go away. Go away now. Save yourself. Adrian, are you with me? Okay. So you didn't wash your hands. Here. <laughs> We're not dry. There's no paper towels. Use your hands. So, what would this whole, what would this whole side be then? Base one plus base two. What would this whole bottom side be? Base one plus base two again, correct? So are both sides now the same? So we can say that for this new parallelogram, that the base is now just base one plus base two, correct? Now we still have to find a height here. Because could one of these slants be the height? No. no, why not? Not perpendicular, okay? So for a trapezoid, you end up having base one plus base two, in parentheses, because that first times your height. But here's the thing. That would be this would be the area of how many trapezoids? Two. Two. Do we want two area do we want the area of two trapezoids every time? No, you just want one. So you divide by two. Which is where we get the next slide from, if you guys know what's happening here in second grade like this. No, no. Wait, wait, wait. Well, here's the thing. Do I have to write this? No. Ah. Are you? I'm really just a really Back. You do this one, you guys want? That this one. Go back. I want to write this one. This one. Wait, can I finish the notes? No, it's better on the beach. School is better on the beach. Awesome. Uh, uh, the school is better on the beach. School would be so much better on the beach. I would be so much better on the beach. Uh, you'll be the Yeah. 
Because we're we're saying okay, so the, on the on the two of them, base one plus base two times height, that should be the whole thing. But if you just put one trapezoid, which is what we want, you divide by two. But right here we're gonna divide by two, right? You still need to divide by two because it's one trapezoid. Yeah. So we're trying the area of two of these. Oh, you want in here? Oh, clip it on it. Well, there's one line here, and then there's one clip on the box. Good question. Yeah, what we do is we use the lane square. And then paste this right there. Let's go. Soul for a soul. Okay, you put that. Oh, this goes here. Okay, you put this where it is. Okay, so what's base one here? Does it matter whether it's six or eight? No. So what's the other one? Base two. What's our height? Four, it's perpendicular to our bases. In this case, it needs to be perpendicular to both bases, and it is. Both okay? bases? Both bases. So area is equal to what plus what? Six plus eight in parentheses times what? Four all over two. Order of operations tells us to do what first? Add in parentheses. Six plus eight is 14 times four over two. So you get... What? 56 over 2, which ends up being 28 square units. You can just put square and units in the Why is it being okay. square? That's a great question. Because uh, it was all in you know, the base of the other and PowerPoint. And so the background on the, that slide was oops, the slide was copied from the slide. Wow, weird. Like no, it's, it's just from him a year ago. Oh, hey, so Bryce said he did something different. But he's got the same answer. Let's look at this. So Bryce said, hey, I did one half, six plus eight, times four. And he's like, I had distributed this one half inside the parentheses. And I got three plus four times four. Well, three plus four is seven. And what's seven times four? It's 28. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Actually, wow, 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 Sorry, are you complaining? Are you complaining yeah, already? Not about dad jokes, about you handing me homework as soon as the bell rings. Because technically, yeah, I should be getting homework done. Yeah, I get that. It, it is, it is fun. Okay, area well, of the rhombus. Area of the rhombus. It's one half, diagonal one times diagonal two. So the diagonals don't have to be the same length as the rhombus. Oh. So it's just diagonal one times diagonal two. Yeah. 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 Now, it's also technically a parallelogram, so you still could do the base times height, and it would work. For some reason, I don't know the base and height of the rhombus. Maybe you could do the base times height. Oh, then you're screwed. Why do I need to? Well, you wouldn't be technically screwed. Then you're all lucky. Right? Okay. That would be so funny. I know. I know. Take your hat off. Gage, I didn't know you were a teacher. Wait, oh, where's oh, your no. hat? You never got me. Hey, you can see the No, you can't. 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 You
Oh! 